Hey guys, it's Marla. If this is your first time, welcome. I am a Dallas-based actress and I do Life of an Actress vlogs where I bring you guys along with me on the actress life journey as well as other fun lifestyle vlogs. Now, if you stumbled across this video, it's because you are curious and I am going to give you all the tea. I am not making this up. This is real. I have receipts. And I've also watched tons of interviews and read tons of articles on various different actor websites, so I promise you I'm not lying. So in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about social media for actors, specifically Instagram for actors. So this past week, something happened that has never happened before that I've heard about, but it's never personally happened to me. Sorry, you guys can hear Gina. He's like all over the place. Um, yeah, it's just never happened to me, and I experienced it for the first time, and it just kind of made me be like, whoa. This is serious and it's real. So I got an email from one of my agents and he was like, what's your Instagram? When that happens, it is not for them. It's for a client. It's for a casting director who wants to know more about you, which can mean one of two things. You're either being considered for a project and they're possibly gonna bring you in for an audition or you could be about to book something and they just wanna get like that final little inside scoop on you. Either way, this was very important because this didn't used to be a thing a couple years ago. You know, social media is still very new for a couple of years now and it's not going anywhere. In fact, it's only growing and it's only becoming more and more important to our careers as actors. Now, it used to be the case where social media didn't matter at all. Like, if you're an actor, you're an actor and your talent is all that counts. Then we went through a little phase in the industry when people were bringing in lots of influencers and content creators who were not actors. All of us actors were like, but I'm like a real actor, can I get the job? They did away with that because they're like, you know, some of these people just aren't, they're just good like being themselves, but they're not good being an actor. And what's happening now is that they went back to being like, okay, no, we need the actors, the trained actors, but we also want them to have a social media following and to at least be somewhat active. So with all of that being said, social media is getting more and more important for you as an actor and me as an actor and all of us in this community. I'm not saying you need to be Instagram famous or like whatever because like at the end of the day, your work, your talent is going to speak for itself. That is 100% true and that is what we should focus on is always training more than anything. However, we are now being put into a position where we are looked at not only for our talents and you know our training but also our social media as well, our engagement, our followers, da 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 da. So here is why social media is very important to you as an actor. We have casting directors, talent agents, and managers, that's three, that's two because they're, a talent agent and a talent manager are two different things, so they count as, they sound similar, but it's not. If you guys want me to go into that, let me know, I'll make a video separately on that, but yeah, we have talent agents and talent managers, um, directors, assistant directors, assistants, um, and then of course like other actors, teachers, etc. But the main ones are the casting directors, the directors, and the talent agents and managers because those are the ones who are going to book us and you know potentially give us work and they want to see if you're a real person and somebody who is fun to be around. I am so sorry, Gino is eating and you can probably hear him in the back. I don't know why he loves to eat when I'm filming. Here is how I know this is true. So I do I, first of all, I love watching interviews on the industry, whether it's actors, casting directors, directors, you know, different agents. Um, I watch them all the time. It is one of my favorite things to do. There have been multiple times when I've been watching a Q&A with a talent agent and they talk about how social media has been a really amazing thing for them and how they have signed so many new talents onto their roster just through TikTok and Instagram. I've also seen it been done for Broadway shows and it can make or break, not your career, but booking a job to a certain extent. Now listen up because this is what is very important and ultimately this is what it comes down to, like this is the nitty gritty of it. If you go in for an audition and you killed it and you're amazing and they're like, that's who we're, that's it. This is the character, this is who we're going with. You know, they bring you in for a callback, a second callback, whatever they need to do, but 
you've got you've got them hooked and they know they want you it is yours however if you go in for an audition you did an amazing job but another actor came in and they also did an amazing job and you guys are both so perfect for the role and it could be cast either way and it would be amazing because you guys are just that awesome and talented and you guys look alike because you know that happens a lot of the time like the person looks exactly like you're very similar and you guys are both well trained and can do the role or probably have done the role before the next step is to go to an actor's social media so if me and Susie um are both like right there we're both perfect da -da -da. and the casting director or the director is like oh my god i don't know like they're so bad well, let's just look at their social media, right? I have 500 followers and Susie has 2,000 followers. That is an extra 1,500 people who will be reached just because Susie has these followers, these audience, whether they engage with her or not, they're still going to be exposed to the project, you know, versus me that I only have 500, not as many people. So. It's kind of like a business decision where they're going to be like, well, Susie is going to help us spread the word on this project. She's going to bring in more ticket sales. I hate to use this word because I don't like to like, I almost feel like it's objectifying people and I don't like that, but we're just, we're just talking on a business standpoint because we are in show business. Like acting is show business. So purely speaking off of that, Susie has now become an asset because she has all of these followers. That is just a small example for you guys. Now, let's bring it to a greater scheme of things. Talking about a Broadway show or just a new show that is meant to be for Broadway, but first, you know, they're um, doing it regionally. This is a true story that I'm not gonna give names because honestly, I don't remember who it was. I just remember hearing the whole story and the whole time I was like, oh, what? Yeah, it is real pretty sure it was on backstage that I saw I can't remember I watch backstage videos all the time Anywho, let's get into the story basically the producer was talking about how two people auditioned for the role one person was amazing super talented like an amazing candidate for the role this other person who auditioned had a huge Instagram we are talking a couple million um, yes they were like and a celebrity it was a show that they knew they were gonna need a lot of publicity because it was a new show um, they were gonna need a lot of press and so bringing this person on board who wasn't as good as this person talent wise producers and the casting team took an opportunity and took a chance on this person simply because of their following and they were like okay well they're pretty good we'll just We'll just put a little bit of extra work into them because they knew that putting in that work to this person who wasn't bad, you know, but just they just weren't as good as this person, was going to bring all of their three however million followers along with them, which this person did not have, which that sucks. And whenever I heard that story, I was like, oh my goodness. Now, don't fret guys, I don't want to scare you. This is, I'm talking on a large scheme of things, but that just goes to show that it does happen and it can be very unfortunate. Like in this situation, I was just like, wow, that would freaking suck. Um, they said how, you know, they put in a lot of extra work to this person that they cast and they took a chance on because they were like, we are literally taking a chance, but we want those, that audience that, and we needed that for the show. It was going to be a brand new show and we needed that. And because of that, um, they put in the work. Now the producer saying this said, you know, if they hadn't had had that following, we would have not taken that chance on them. But this was an instance where it helped this person and this person ended up being amazing and, you know, killing the role, which is awesome. But they wouldn't have had this opportunity if they wouldn't have had if they wouldn't have had that following, like the casting team wouldn't have taken that chance on them. So this is an example I wanted to show you guys. Um, it does happen, it is real. Don't let that scare you because I've also seen interviews with casting directors where they're like, I don't look at social media, I look at what you can do. And that's amazing. So it just kind of depends on who you're dealing with, like who is the director for it and if they care about that stuff. A lot of casting directors don't, but a lot of casting directors do. So does social media matter? for your career more and more and more the answer is becoming yes however training will always come first i just want to be clear on that but 
by the looks of it and all the research that I've done <laughs> and also literally getting my agent saying hey what's your Instagram makes it pretty safe to say that yes it is so here's what I suggest you as an actor do now I love social media I've always loved social media and it's one of my favorite things so I am very active on there I like posting pictures like I like all of that but I know not everyone is especially a lot of actors aren't they're just like too cool for that but you're going to have to put some work into it just in case am i saying you're not gonna get work if you don't have social media absolutely not but i do want to give you guys some suggestions in case your page is being looked at for a job because we never know if you want details and you want strategies and you want specific direction on what to do i'm not a social media expert um i love social media but i'm not a social media expert but there are specific people for that and one of them is heidi dean heidi dean is literally everywhere she is a backstage expert she has a channel that is literally called social media for actors so if you guys don't know about heidi dean her channel is amazing it's like a gold mine with so many videos and free tips and she also does coaching so if you want to pay to be coached by her i'm sure those are amazing but if you don't have the money which like i know a lot of us don't right now because of what's going on she has tons of free content for you guys she is also frequently one of the guests on backstage doing live q and a's and she also does live q and a's on her youtube channel and her instagram so definitely definitely check her out I've learned so much from her and she is very specific and she's very kind and sweet and friendly but she tells you the truth which is what we need as actors like yeah some of this stuff sucks but we need to know the truth and she does a great job at delivering that she's quick she's to the point and you can learn a lot from her so that would be my first suggestion if you are wanting specific direction full free on how to grow and clean up your instagram my second suggestion would be to go through and take out anything that is embarrassing or that you just don't want a casting director knowing about you it could really affect you and also it's your image you know like as an actor so go back and delete any any inappropriate pictures or video any type of content that will put your name in a negative light in front of a casting director's page my third suggestion would be to just put in a little bit of work to your instagram like i said i know not everyone is big into their page and like you haven't uploaded it in forever but maybe you're reading a really cool book it doesn't have to be on the industry but maybe you're enjoying a book post a picture about that and say like oh i've been i've been enjoying this book that shows a little bit of your personality and who you are and if you're an actor who doesn't care about growing your follower and you're not really into that at least you will have stuff that shows who you are and the things that you like and when a casting director looks at your page they're like oh nice that totally aligns with the character we're considering them for something simple like that i don't want you guys to feel overwhelmed but just keep it simple and keep it you which would bring us into suggestion number four be yourself there's absolutely no point of having a huge audience and having a huge follower if it's not you because if on social media you are completely different than in person then they might get a little confused and be like oh my gosh she was so great in person but i don't know her social media is like she's a completely different person who is this you might not have the most amount of followers but if you're being yourself the people who are there and love you are there for you and that's all that matters my last and final suggestion would be this post content that shows what you can do you don't have to post tons of videos of you singing or dancing or doing a monologue or whatever but at least have a couple sprinkled in there or maybe just put it into one of your highlights i know this can be very sensitive to a lot of people because you're like oh my gosh this is like no i don't want to have it out there to be exposed and be judged by everyone but your page is going to be looked at by people who are considering you for a job when a casting director is going through your page and then they hear you doing Doing this monologue that you absolutely killed and they're gonna be thinking oh my gosh that was so good i she killed that comedic role i've never thought to bring her in for comedy stuff and they will look at you in a different light or you might have a singing video on there and they're like oh my gosh i didn't know she sang or like i didn't know she danced or stuff like that show these casting directors what you can do they want to see it is only going to make you look better it's going to show off other skills that maybe they had no idea you could do and it's only going to work in your favor so don't be afraid to post videos like that. It didn't have to be a bunch, but when they scroll through, they should be able to find some of them sprinkled in there. Even if it's like bloopers that are funny, that shows a sense of humor. And those are so much fun to watch. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Be loud and proud.
thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video and this type of content or you just like me and want to be subscribed to me make sure that you guys hit the notification bell and subscribe i would appreciate it so so much we are so close to 200 subscribers so i'm super excited and that's gonna be it i'll see you guys next time stay safe and goodbye